I have been blessed to be a mom three times, three times that have each changed my life in very different ways. My name is Amanda Hewen. I have Matthew who is 18 and ready to conquer the world. Evie, 14, is blossoming every day into the loving, beautiful young lady that she is meant to be. Then there's my 11-year-old Nicholas. Where do I begin? When Nick was born, he was super healthy. In fact, we thought he was the healthiest of our three kids at birth. He was super chunky. Yet we couldn't understand why he was always sick. Ear infection after ear infection, pneumonia after pneumonia, flu after flu, chicken pox, scarlet fever, and many, many other illnesses. How could this child that doesn't look sick end up needing nine specialists all the way in St. Louis? At 11 years old, Nick has had a bumpy ride. He has had a fever every night for at least the last seven years. He would catch something and we would hear, uh, it's just a cold or, uh, it's just an ear infection. He was sick and he was sick all the time. He got all of his shots and we did what we were supposed to do as parents. And yet he kept getting sick. Once over a six month stint, he had 56 infections. As his parents, we knew this wasn't as normal as doctors tried to make it out to be. I was so frustrated. As a mom, you just want to fix your child. Finally, when he was about a seven, we met a wonderful lady, Dr. Angie. No one ever took the time to want to figure out the possibility that Nicholas's illnesses could be something more, but she did. She promised me that she would not stop until we found out answers. By this time, it was recommended that we go to St. Louis to Cardinal Glennon. This children's hospital was four hours away. How are we going to do this? How are we going to afford hotels, gas, and food? We couldn't. We were told by a social services department worker that there was a place called Haven House. We could stay there and they would have meals. I thought it sounded too good to be true. We came to St. Louis and it ended up to be a wonderful doctor. More tests, more scans, more blood work. Again, we felt that sense of relief when it wasn't anything that could be classified as an infectious disease. But it was still something. Still, what was wrong with my baby? Before leaving that trip, the doctor knew just what I was thinking. He pulled out his card, wrote his personal cell phone number down, and told me to call him if there was anything that I needed. Who does that? No specialist that we've ever met. This was 2017. On Father's Day last year, Nick had a huge migraine that hit harder and faster than any other had. He was so sick, there was nothing that our local ER could do to make it stop. What were we going to do? I didn't have anywhere to go, except to call the specialist that gave us his cell phone number. He told me to drive to St. Louis immediately. After a week of being at Cardinal Glennon and staying at Haven House, we had some answers. We had a lot of doctors, immunology, gastronology, and neurology. And after many, many months of making the trip to St. Louis, it was determined that he has hypogamma globulin anemia. It was explained to us that a germ is like the chocolate part of an M&M. If it sticks to a person that doesn't have this, then your body makes the candy coating. That candy coating protects you from getting sick. Nick doesn't have the candy coating. His body doesn't make it, any of it. All of these infections over his few years or because his body basically didn't have an immune system. This means we travel to St. Louis every 28 days. He gets infusions to make his body think it has more immunity than it does. While it won't make him better, it will cut down on the infections. But if he got the wrong kind of infection that wasn't caught, it wouldn't be a good thing. After many trips up and down Highway 44, the doctors figured out that Nicholas not only has this rare disease, but he also has essential tremors, which is the opposite of Parkinson's disease. He has migraines, arthritis, hypermobility, sleep apnea, asthma, and severe anemia. We have done physical therapy in the pool and on land. What does this mean for Nick? It means that coming to St. Louis every 28 days and staying at Haven House. And with all that being said, Nicholas lives his life. He has a way of showing people that he may be sick, but he's still the kid that wants to go to chapel in the hospital and pray for every other child. He tells me that he's the lucky one because he gets to go home each month. Here we are three years later, and to this day, Haven House has been a blessing to us. When I have so much to already worry about from day to day, I know that I won't have to worry about where I stay when we come to St. Louis. The people here are such blessings too. We have treasured getting to know them each time we come up. With just Nick, and I usually come alone, it's reassuring to know that I can go to them with any questions. Our story is far from over, 
and this is by far not all of our story. We have so many things planned for the future, and we have to keep looking ahead. With God and all the prayers that we get, we have so much left to do.